This is a review of Patton Oswalt's book, Silver Screen Fiend. So I just posted a review of his other book, Zombie Spaceship Wasteland, which I read a bit before this. I think this came out a few years after. I think Zombie Spaceship Wasteland was 2006 and this was 2009. Something like that um, around there. Again, a lot of, all of these reviews are based on raw memory, and I read this a while ago. But it's a good book. It details the addiction Patton had to film when he was in his early 20s and living in California, Los Angeles more specifically. Um, I find it more interesting than Zombie Spaceship Wasteland. Zombie Spaceship Wasteland has a more interesting title, and it's more fun, a little more chaotic. Um, again, as I mentioned in the last review, not really a straightforward novel or biography. Um, like this one is, this one is just a straightforward um, autobiography. Um, but um, this one I find more interesting. It actually just details his own life, his own addiction to film. Um, I find it very interesting. He talks about his first experience as an actor in the film Down Periscope, by, which also starred Kelsey Grammer. He talked about um, how he basically just went in to get his SAG card that day, um, went in to get the experience as an actor. Um, how um, he was sort of uh, new at the experience. Um, Again, I read this a while ago, so I don't know if I can detail much more than that. But it talks about his addiction to film, um, him just watching hours and hours of film every week, um, trying to soak as much uh, material into his brain as possible. And I don't know if that was necessarily a problem for him, so I don't know if he still considers this an addiction because it seems like his quote-unquote addiction to film or his passion for film has really helped him in his career. He sort of become the, if I can find the right word in my memory here, um, the... Hmm. I don't know how to describe him because he's obviously a good stand-up comedian and he's a good actor too, but I'm trying to think of what his role is in the realm of pop culture and film. I, I'm trying to figure out the word for him. Obviously a stand-up comedian, that's the biggest one. Actor, secondary. But I'm wondering how I would describe him. Um, huh, I don't know if I can find a smart enough word to use. Um, sage, that's, that's a good one. Um, he's a sage of the pop culture industry, has good taste in pop culture. Um, some of the stuff he likes aren't quite up to what I like um, in terms of what I consider to be higher pop culture. Um, but I do, I, I still watch Star Wars and um, Spider-Man and things like that too. So I think we're fairly mm -hmm. similar on that end. And um, check out the book if you're interested in learning more about his addiction to film, his experiences in LA, and if you just like him as a comedian and an actor, um, it's, it's interesting. Um, so yeah, Silver Screen Fiends, highly recommend. Uh, thank you for listening and have a good day.